<laughs> Welcome to the Big Fish. I'm Captain C.T. Williams. My attendant here is Captain Mike Gallo, Angling Adventures in Louisiana. We are breaking in the new 2019 Roballo today, and usually we have like a an idea of what's going to happen today. I don't think we have a clue. It's cold. Uh, water's falling out pretty quickly because of some north winds. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of a uh, front go by, wind changes, and um, to be honest, the best bet on a scouting trip is where you think, uh, or where you can sort of predict the pattern. And the nice thing about uh, New Orleans East and the Wall and the Mr. Go uh, is that there's a variety of fishing areas. So we're going to head there. We're going to start on the Wall. We'll start deep. You got that, boss? And uh, and we'll see if we can't. Truly, I guess, in the same way that any recreational fisherman might leave the, leave the dock, no idea, not a clue, We're gonna be fishermen today. Look for clean moving water, look for bait, sort of assess water temperatures and figure out where those fish are. This is a perfect day for it. You can see it's overcast, it's a little cool, uh, fronts have just come through or just about to come through, pressure's changing. Everything you can imagine is sort of against us today. So I don't expect a lot of fish, but we can have a lot of fun trying to figure it out. Maybe give you some pointers on uh, for the next trip that you head out on, 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 on kind of what, what to look for and, and how to find some fish. Um, and who knows how the day wraps up. Of course, we do know we're gonna head down to the uh, Big Fish Kitchen and see what's cooking over there. I imagine Chef Tenny's got something good for us. And, uh, and before it's all over, oh, we're gonna have a great day. Just can't tell you exactly how it's gonna go yet. So come on. Let's go fishing with Captain Mike Gallo and me and the new 2019 Roballo. Woohoo! Well, let's see if we can just find something. I'm ready. Get the, get the skunk off, as they say. Well, come on, let's make a That's run. That's true, huh? There hasn't been a fish caught in this boat? This boat has never caught a fish. We'll fix that. It, it still had the, the, the uh, uh, shrink wrap oh. lines on it when we launched. <laughs> So we are in, in a brand new 2019 Roballo 246 Cayman, very similar to uh, the boat I've had for three years now, a new one every year, and, and this one, a um, couple of little upgrades, a couple of little refinements, just kind of looks a little cooler, uh, but still the fishing machine that it has been for a while. So let's see if we can't uh, keep the reputation up. <laughs> we'll get some fish in it. We'll get some fish in it. So I tell you what, you take a quick break, we'll make a run, and when, uh, when you come back, well, let's hope that we're on some fish. First cast. First cast in the new Roballo. That's it, you get it. Fish on, look at him, he's got the spot. What? You want me to slime up the Roballo? Slime up the Roballo. There we the go. Fish box. Oh, there man. we go. I gotta wash it. <laughs> Question is, will he keep? So that's not the first fish in the boat. It is the first fish first in the boat. First fish to see the boat. It's not the first legal fish. <laughs> So we're going to start with plastic just because we're covering a lot of space pretty quickly. This is a, this is a Havoc, Berkeley Havoc, Grass Pig Jr. You're not going to find one with a yellow tail like that. I was on Mike's boat and I did dip it the last time he and I fished together. Got a few teeth marks. It's been well broken in. So let's see if we can keep it, keep it going. Right. Keep, like keep its good reputation intact. I like the profile on that thing. Get out of here. You probably had him five minutes ago. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have to know. He's John. See, I like that aggressiveness. I mean, the way he's shaking it, he's kind of telling me he's not cold. He's not that cold. He's not popsicled yet. Did you, see? you got him? Yeah, but I think this one's going to keep him. Oh, well, let me just get out of the way. No, it's Since not. Since there's a whale coming no, in. <laughs> the whale. The whale is foul hooked. Uh -huh. At least I hooked them in the mouth. No, no, no. Legally. I, I hook them. I hook them before they, the law they When they're thinking about them. biting that bait, I've got them on the hook. You, know? you oh, felt geez. him looking at it, right? <laughs> That's right. He was thinking about biting and I set the hook. <laughs> All right, dude. Jeez. They're happy, but go grow. I got him, Jake. Get out of here. <laughs> He's not coming to the surface. Oh, there he is. He's going to be a keeper. Definitely gonna be a keeper. There it is. And that 
will be the first fish in the, in the live well. Yeah, no, we're going in the uh, in the fish keeper there. Boom. It is official. The first trout in the Rabalo 2019 of the year. I know you're lonely now, but I promise you'll have friends. We'll get you some buddies. That's it. Got him that time. Oh, that's a good one. That's deep, huh? I don't know. Oh, I think he's short. He's short. <laughs> he's short. Yeah. Okay. Send close. Company. Somebody's got to put fish in this box. That's it. That's it. I can't get my can't get my groove on here. Got him. What are we gonna do, Mike? Gonna keep him? I think we may. This looks like a good one. He just came up. The water's pretty clear. I think we may. Oh, yeah, oh he's a, good a monster. Fish. Good fish. He go right in the box. Didn't even have to dirty up the boat. <laughs> good looking speck of trout there. Now, that one's respectable. <laughs> Might be a little fried speckle trout later this afternoon. See, T, there's room in here if you want to come. I'm, I'm, I'm working on it, Mike. I'm working. I'm just keeping the boat right just for you. You know, in this 40 mile an hour wind, it's you not easy. You are doing an excellent job. You just keep catching. That's, that's it. Oh, I got him. I got him. He's a good that's one. A good fish right by the boat. Good fish right by the boat. Pretty looking fish. Good quality real. there. I was reeling. I like that one, Mike. It's gotta be just a, if it's a fish, it's the littlest fish in the world. Oh, he's it's on a, there. It's a fish. He's on there. Oh, Lord. There ain't no little fish or catfish. Look at CT with the yeah. freshwater catfish. That's not even a freshwater, bro, is it? I don't think. Yeah, that's freshwater. <laughs> oh, you need help landing him, don't you? You're gonna need a net. <laughs> Moving about 15 miles an hour through here. The way I'm doing, get it ahead of the boat and then just let it pull back into it. Uh huh. Oh, you no good. You weren't fighting at all until you saw that net, huh? Get up here. There we go. That Woo. is not a, not a little cat either. Thing. That's a big cat. I got one. Fish on? Oh, he's nice a nice speckle one too. trout. Come on, buddy. You want to stay on there? Wow. That is a beautiful fish. That's right, slime the whole boat up. Go ahead. <laughs> Very nice. That answered my question, huh? Yeah, Half right. inch does work, and this tighter zone might be the ticket. Oh, I hurt my back lifting up that fish. He's so heavy. Man. Oh. I put him way over here so he don't eat that catfish. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> BS Charters was in business for a minute. <laughs> got him. Got him, got him, got him. Got him? Fish on? What we got? Hey, man, I'll tell you what, Mike. You got me you got me getting frustrated. That, that's good stuff. Today we're going to do a, an eggplant dressing, which is going to be in my cookbook coming up. And I've got a, a baking sheet spraying it. And um, I used to do the thing where you salt it and you squeeze it, and, and, and uh, I don't do that anymore. I don't, I don't think it's, uh, it's really necessary. And for this, we're going to cook it until it's soft, and we're going to scoop it. All right, so right in a hot oven for about 15 minutes. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. Now this is a very hot oven. This is also a convection oven, which means it has a fan in it. So it might take you 20 minutes in your home oven. And also it's, it's very fork tender. And I'm gonna let that cool off just a minute while we build the rest of our ingredients. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna scoop the pulp right away from the skin. I'll let that cool off so we can handle it. All right, olive oil garlic, that's slivered fresh garlic, bay leaf, and about five anchovies. Put that on the fire, put the lid on it. The peppers are already cooked. I've got some chicken stock here. 
Uh, fish stock would work. Um, really anything you've got, even water, any kind of broth. I also have something that you don't have at home, which I've got some reduced veal jus. Um, in my book, um, I recommend a, a brand called More Than Gourmet that they sell an acceptable product in a little, it's about an ounce and a half or two ounce little puck, um, which for this purpose, uh, it just adds an additional layer of flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and scrape my eggplant. Okay, now we're ready to add our roast peppers, our thyme, about half the basil, and then finally the, the eggplant pulp. I'm gonna add my chopped parsley, the rest of my basil, my veal jus, and then I'm gonna add my, my toasted bread. Now at this stage, I could stop and we could serve that with a, a piece of fish. Today it's gonna be a sauteed piece of sheep's head, or we could add a little bit more liquid and then bake it in the oven. All right, our little, our little fish is done. Our little dressing is ready. And as you can see, it's set up a little bit harder than it was. Now the recipe in the cookbook is actually using this stuffing for a stuffed rainbow trout. Um, but like I said, it's versatile. Uh, if you don't want to use bread, you can use rice. And CT claims that he likes the manly flavors, we'll see. So eggplant, anchovy and garlic ragu stuffing with cute little pieces of sauteed sheep's head from GW Fins. GW Fins has dinner items so fresh they print a new menu daily. Give them a call and tell them CT said to give you the best seat in the house. With a few fish in the boat and the wind increasing in speed, we chose to head to protected water to find a few redfish. Well, he's got a fish. Or bass. Or drum. He's eating. But no luck. I made a call to a couple of friends who fished stripers at Seabrook and met them there to give that a try. With no luck. We fished from dawn to dark and the best bite we found were the speckled trout we caught in the morning. It's not like we haven't done 12 hour scouts before. Um, and and the, the crazy part about some of this was that right now everyone complains about how difficult it is to find speckled trout. And truth is, that's really the only thing other than a catfish we did find. We left um, them, didn't we? You know, the, the red fishing waters where the grass beds looked great, the water was filthy, the wind was blowing still in the 20s. Um, and then the striper idea, look, I, 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 I had friends who, who uh, had caught them there, shown a nice box of them, and, uh, and were pretty confident. And so he did something that, you know, I've never done that. Have Me you? either. Okay. No, so, I was excited to so do that. So something new. I mean, you know, it's not like I haven't caught a striper, but I have not fished Seabrook for it specifically. And, and so, you know, you give it a shot. So we got a few trout to clean. We've got one big old cat we can, uh, we can take care of. But uh, in, in review of a very long day, uh, the Roballo did fantastically. But uh, what, what would you have done different? Because that's always what you ask yourself at the end of the day. What did we do right? Well, we even <clears throat> said it on the air, at this time of year when you find a few, grind them out. Grind them out. Well, we knew we were scouting, so we left biting fish to go see if we could pursue other species to maybe help someone that's looking for bass or redfish or stripers. Or just scouting around, you know, or, 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 yeah. So I, the wind did make it difficult, but I feel pretty certain if we'd have just stayed in that little stretch of shoreline along the rocks, another drift or two, we'd have really narrowed it down to the very most productive spot. And I think we could have come out of there with 15 or 20. A few more. Yeah. 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 No, I, I think that's fair. Which would have been a good day in January with 52 degree water temperatures. With, with 20 mile an hour wind. Uh, in fact, 22 at some point it yeah. was steady. We needed two drift so, socks. Yeah, buckets, they're throwing buckets off the back. Well, I, I don't think, it, you know, it's odd. This is probably one of the lightest days you and I have ever had, but I don't think it was a bad day all said and done. You, no. we, we covered a lot of ground, we, we, we tested a lot of waters, we tried something new and we came home with some fish. So, not terrible. Not at all, not ashamed not of it. Bad, huh? Not proud of it, but not ashamed I'll of it. I'll do it again tomorrow, you know? <laughs> that's, just a, that's just that hard-headedness. <laughs> well, you know they there. Um, 
you, you tell yourself, and maybe maybe most fishermen are optimists, but you tell yourself, if we can catch them in 20 mile an hour winds, when it's blowing 10, we'll catch twice as many. Twice as many. Well, now 40 is a great day. I, you know, and I hope it, if if somebody was watching and and, and learned something, it, it's how important really practicing the technique of jigging is. Because, you know, I'm not, I'm not terrible at it, and I felt terrible at it today. And, and I, you know, it's, it's being able to truly know, and, and you, you correct me because you did it, but that tick, that, that, that pickup, or how to keep that line so perfect in its tension and contact with that bait that as soon as there is one, because you know that I had to get hit. We're, we're fishing side by side, and, and I, I was setting the hook. So many. Often. I, I, I wasn't doing the free the free set. I'd, I'd say, oh, that's a rock or something, and, and maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. But clearly, the more you practice your tight line technique, the better off you are. Yeah, and you know, I didn't explain it this way, and it wasn't that I was holding out. I just didn't think of it. <laughs> but to mm. to know that I'm on the bottom for certain, I drag, and then I can feel it going across the yeah. bottom, and then. That's when we got a couple of bites. That was a so that idea. seemed to be the technique. So you're doing two things. You, you know you're on the bottom because you're dragging. Obviously, your line is tight. To so be dragging. Pops it, you, you, so, you feel it. Right, right. Well, I, I, I agree with you in the sense that, that for, for a 50 degree water day, uh, 20 mile an hour wind, uh, and catch speckle trout when, when you're not really, you said we'd try it and then probably go end up chasing redfish and bass. Not too bad. Hope maybe you picked up some tips, especially in adverse conditions. Uh, certainly if you're looking to go fish to Mr. Go or uh, Slidell or Lake Pontchartrain or the Biloxi Marsh for redfish especially, man to call right there, Angling Adventures, Captain Mike Gallo. Information right there in front of you. Um, uh, have a lot of fun. Always. That's why, that's, that's why the time passes so fast without you knowing it. It is. It went by. Today went by quick. And we didn't bring a whole bunch of food or anything. It just, now I'm hungry, but I we wasn't. Fishing. I wasn't. I got we back to the dock. We got on the water for nine and off the water for seven. Seven. Minutes. Yeah, almost 12 hours. Almost. <laughs> Yeah, see? but daylight stopped at 5.30. Yeah, well, well, because we ran to Seabrook and we had to make the run back in the dark. So, And we ran safely and that's why it took the extra time. But speaking of time, we're out of it. It's late. It's time to get this boat on the trailer, on the Dodge, and head on back to the house. Hope to see you out catching some fish like we did today. Fighting those adverse conditions is no reason not to go out and find a few fish. But if we don't, please join us right back here on The Big Fish next time. Thanks so much for watching. Nice, nice. Oh, fish off. <laughs> Almost had the first fish in the Roballo. See, you left me a, that's a you missed me. Am I? It was the first fish to see the Roballo. That's right. He didn't like it, did he? He did. <laughs> okay. Marsh bass. Oh, look at this. Oh, good. On the way down. Gracious. We got us a state record oh, he right come here. Off. He come off. Oh, he did. Either that or he. You better sharpen that, that, that hook, broke son. Me. I think he broke me.